In Tallinn, we might find molecules of birch pollen flown over the water from Finland. The same goes for Russian spruce that has flown from the east. We may also for sure find plastic molecules <laughs> from garbage from the river Niela. Now, the plastic bottles that you find in the harbor of Tallinn today, they're from the river Oder in Germany. But in the last 100 years, the stream and water conditions have changed so much that the water molecules, the plastic molecules of garbage, are from a totally different direction. We may also find molecules from the paint and the metal of the ship Estonia blown ashore under heavy storms. Now here at the capital of Finland, Helsinki. We will uh, for sure find molecules of uniforms, weapons and drones from the Red Army guardists or Red Army soldiers that were thrown into the Helsinki harbor in 1920 during the Second War. We will also probably find molecules of the paint from the German Navy that came to end that civil war. Um, the Commune of Copenhagen is working, Copenhagen is working together with the, the energy of Copenhagen in order to give us all pure water. But they are not able anymore to give us pure water. So right now they are taking very seriously investigation into plants in Barcelona and Singapore where they actually have plants that can transform seawater into drinkable water. So we actually, with data, are very much used to drinking pure water from everywhere. But it could be in the next year, a couple of years, that we will be forced to drink seawater that run to a plant. And it's not this Denmark. I bought some, some toys for Conrad and Stockman, uh, some banana, plastic banana, plastic apples, etc. And then I found part of this was this Conrad, this lovely bottle with its distillated water. Water is the new black. Water will become very hot in the next couple of years. Mm -hmm. Right now, 
Oil is very important, and those who control oil has money and power. But in the future, you want to say when, five, ten years, at least twenty or thirty years, water will be more important than oil. So what we also think with this pro pro uh, this Baltic water product is actually to make a drink that makes normal human beings capable of drinking normal harbor or sea water. <laughs> so what we plan to do with this Baltic water is to make a mixture, and if you drink a little bit of that each day, your body will slowly adapt and be, be able to drink harbor water. <laughs> if you do that, it's a kind of empowerment of the system, because if you can get your body used to drink harbor water, you you don't have to pay 100 kroner for a normal bottle of water. <laughs> you can just go to the harbor. When he says system, he doesn't mean the system, but the bodily system. And uh, this thing about 100 kroners for a bottle of water, um, we, we all know that we're drinking bottled water all the time. I have mine hidden here in the, in the wing, for instance. And uh, we also see connoisseur water, like this and that very famous restaurant, Norma, whatever cleans their own water on these extremely expensive machines and bottle them on very specific bottles and with designer labels and stuff so you don't only have sort of slave water any longer but also really really expensive conserved water and we are also considering a little bit how this Baltic water should be made because what you maybe haven't uh, explained so clearly yet is that we will decide the mixture of how much Helsinki <laughs> how much complaint of that is there in our Baltic water? How much of each of the European Union water portions do we mix? But then the other thing we discuss is how much sea minerals and local salts from each place. I sometimes talk about the idea that we could give people a kit so that each one of you could decide yourself if you want a little bit more of, um, say, Stockholm in your water and a little bit less of Denmark. Yeah, I don't. I don't believe in that home kit. I think you should have a store where you can go and make your own bottles. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Yeah. As you see, we're still discussing it. Yes. We have actually a small sample that we would like to share with you. <laughs> As you saw before, it was really small containers, and that process of two hundred milliliters took around two hours. No, what, a little of six point six point. This is a mix yes. of all six hours. Yes. And we'll mix it up with water slowly, shortly, and you will all, if you feel like it, have a taste. It's good for you. There's lots of good salt and minerals that you don't get normal. <laughs> 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 well, the portions that we have what? what are the proportions of the equal from each? No, they're yeah. our special. That's a. Uh, we, keep, we, keep that, <laughs> we keep that secret. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry? Like the Coca-Cola? Yeah, like the Coca-Cola. It's also a good thing about this. Maybe we have finally found the golden stone as performance artists to earn money. <laughs> 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 well, uh, so, have you tried the My Week water? No. No, but we know that there is one well in the city ball area in Mid Jutland where you can buy a bottle of water for 1,580 crowns. It should be a very good well. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it should be. <laughs> <laughs> so
Please wait. Yeah. Let's let's fast forward together. Can we do it all the way? Should we stay down? Of course, it has to go into your body. Some little bit. Maybe next year sometime. <laughs> <laughs> for sure before 2012. <laughs> 